on Jamaica on today's episode of Mobile Reasoning. We're here at the Anglican Church, which is located in Spanish Town St. Catherine. It is the oldest church in Jamaica. Come now. You would find that it wouldn't be compared to the average church in that the cathedral has a rich history. Mm. And um, you would find that when you're worshiping, such an, worshiping in such an mm. environment, um, you'd really be amazed at um, the old blend and that a church like this um, could be well preserved. Because practically the church is really over 304 years. Wow. Um, it is practically the oldest existing um, place of worship on the island. Wow. On the island? Yes. Wow. Um, the cathedral, the official name is the Cathedral of Cathedral of St. Jago, de la Vega, mm -hmm. um, de la Vega, St. James. Mm -hmm. All right, it is uh, um, currently the oldest Anglican cathedral to be established outside of England itself. So. Wow, okay. Right. Um, it is said that this is actually the third church building located on this site. The current church building was uh, opened in 1714. Wow, okay. All right, so here in the interior of the cathedral, mm -hmm. um, we have what we call here, pitch pine pews, mm -hmm. and that has to do with the design. Mm -hmm. All right, it's a copy from the actual pine trees. Mm -hmm. All right, um, these seating were actually, well, the design of the seating um, came around 18, maybe around 1880, there about. Mm -hmm. The earlier seating was actually box pews, and those were actually seats with doors. All right, now the cathedral, um, as much as its history, if you look at the history of its membership, it's coming from a church that was predominantly um, a European dominated. So it was a church, the membership then were predominantly the English aristocracy. Okay. All right, and that eventually moved into the period of emancipation where we see freed, um, the freed blacks you know, attending service. And in, so by the 1950s, the congregation, the ethnicity was really changing mm -hmm. all right, into what the formation of Jamaican society is today. Mm -hmm. all right, so it has moved from a church that was predominantly British to a church that is Caribbean. Okay, okay. And what is the congregation size? Um, the current congregation is uh, just a little bit over 400. And even during this COVID time, does, does the COVID church get a lot of... has affected our worship um, in terms of the attendance. Um, in the early part of the pandemic, um, we see where there was an outbreak in St. Catherine, mm -hmm. which caused know, the closure of the parish for nearly about three weeks. Um, that prevented us from having um, well, a Sunday morning service with the congregation actually gathering inside of the church. So mm -hmm. with that, we had to go live stream. That was really done from the home of church members. Eh? Okay. Right, and was online. We started meeting back around um, April, um, the end of April, there about. Mm -hmm. So um, before COVID, the average attendance on a Sunday morning would be about 300 to 350. Mm -hmm. COVID was about 70. Um, the numbers started to increase a bit slowly around December and Christmas. So um, now, during the pandemic, the attendance is just a little bit under 150. Still not the average church. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, people, that says a lot about what people are coming to experience. Yeah. Um, and if you notice, the cathedral um, has a very large seating capacity. So even during right. the pandemic, the, the pandemic um, social distance, um, well kept here, we can hold about 150 persons comfortably, mm -hmm. distance apart. Wonderful. So those are things we can work on. Wonderful. Um, if we turn our attention to the back of the cathedral, um, added to its rich history is our 19th century Walker pipe organ. Um, that organ was installed in 1849. It was manufactured in the UK by the Walker Organ Company. Mm -hmm. Um, it is still working, and currently, I believe it should be the oldest plain pipe organ um, on the island. Wow. Uh, inside the casing of the organ itself is uh, um, nearly 2,000 pipes. Wow. All right, so it is one of um, the largest 
five park in the confine in the Caribbean. Oh. And of course, cathedrals are known for having rich music and for having mega pipe organs, so it would be strange to find an organ of this size inside this cathedral. Thank you for checking us out on Good News Jamaica TV for content that informs, inspires, and transforms. Please like, share, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more positive Jamaica content. What good? 